Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga in January. Settled at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, scientists have dreaded the awakening of the deadliest underwater volcano for years, fearing the havoc it could wreak. However, the worst nightmares now materialized. This volcano violently cracked open the Earth and sent shockwaves worldwide. Scientists report that the sheer ferocity would equal 100 Hiroshima bombs and that it would be so catastrophic, its magnitude being nothing that had ever been seen and that every corner of the earth would be affected. How massive would this explosion be? How drastic would its impact be? Join us as we discuss how the deadliest underwater volcano has suddenly cracked open the earth. Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai's Volcanic Eruptions a current investigation has disclosed that the underwater volcano in the South Pacific, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, has just cracked open. The predicted explosion would displace unusually large amounts of water into the atmosphere, increasing global surface temperatures for several years. The surge in temperature would lead to a momentary breach of the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming threshold, a substantial landmark outlined in climate agreements. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption's extraordinary composition set it apart from other volcanic events. While typical eruptions are cooling sulfur dioxide aerosols, the explosion's primary component is water vapor. The last eruption initially pushed a staggering 0.42 million tons of cooling sulfur dioxide aerosols into the stratosphere. But an overwhelming 146 million tons of water vapor particularly expanded the water content in the stratosphere by 10 to 15 percent. This uncommon and unusual event has been attributed to the warming effect, contrary to the cooling pattern observed in most volcanic explosions. Previous eruptions have also discharged an incredible amount of energy, aggravating the Earth's atmosphere's charged layer, the ionosphere, with a pressure similar to a solar geomagnetic storm. The explosion's reach expanded beyond the Earth's climate. Nonetheless, observations in the outlying ultraviolet light spectrum uncovered a transient recession in emissions, revealing that the water vapor from the undersea volcano might have reached space. As discovered, Astronauts aboard the International Space Station detected the volcanic plume of the last eruption from a remarkable vantage point, 269 miles above the Pacific Ocean. The unique account gave scientists a valuable understanding of the explosion's extent and potential impact on the higher atmospheric layers. Also, the explosion was accompanied by a phenomenal surge in lightning strikes, and within five minutes, it set off more than 25,000 lightning events, escalating to a staggering 400,000 within six hours. The erupting plume later produced an incredibly intense lightning storm with an astounding 2,600 lightning flashes per minute during its zenith, tallying up to 192,000 flashes over 11 hours. Particularly, the lightning strikes occurred at an unprecedented altitude between 12 and 19 miles, 20 to 30 kilometers above the Earth's surface, surpassing any formerly recorded lightning event. These volcanic islands have experienced periodic explosions historically. The first explosion recorded at the site occurred in 1912 and was followed by a significant explosion in 1937. The volcanoes have also erupted a few times over the 21st century. In March 2009, a submarine explosion near the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai spewed steam, smoke, pumice, and ash thousands of feet into the sky. The explosion, observed by Tonga's chief geologist, Kalepi Mafi, created a new land surface between the two vents, practically devastating Hunga Harbor Island and blanketing it in a thick layer of black ash, obliterating all vegetation and fauna. The volcano once again in 2014 stirred as volcanic plumes and a series of earthquakes rattled the volcanoes north of Tonga for several weeks, signaling a resumption of volcanic activity in the area. Furthermore, in mid-December 2014, a new volcano explosion began and was marked by a tall white steam plume rising from the ocean over the volcanic area, which was visible to the local fishermen. Satellite imagery confirmed the explosion's continuation with a smile and an ash plume rising from the site. The eruption persisted into 2015, with a towering ash cloud reaching three kilometers into the sky. 
A new phase, however, commenced 10 days into January, characterized by ash plumes soaring as high as 9 kilometers. Upon their visit, geologists from New Zealand and Tonga observed the explosion's deadline. Most of the activity was concentrated on the new Oslabd, with limited ash emission and magma rocks hitting the ocean, leading to steam explosions. Nonetheless, the team discovered no floating debris. By the end of January, Tongan officials declared that the explosions had ceased, marking the end of this chapter in the volatile history of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai. In June 2017, two French explorers, Cecil Sabel and Damien Gruya, made their way to New Island in a sailing boat. During their visit, they snapped photographs of the island's landscapes and gathered 16 rock samples. The samples, which were seemingly insignificant at the time, were reviewed to have gained immense importance when they fell into the hands of scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. And to their amazement, the rocks from Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai became a crucial model helping researchers understand the peculiar volcanic shapes that grace the Martian landscape. However, an intriguing tale was revealed through a deeper analysis of the samples. A significant component of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai, the volcanic ash, had a unique interaction with the warm oceanic waters surrounding the island. The chemical reaction that transformed the ash into a robust rock suggested that the island could endure for seven decades, a revelation that hinted at the island's stability and longevity, painting a picture of resilience against the forces of nature. Nonetheless, in 2022, an unexpected twist of events occurred with an explosion. The explosion in Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai commenced in December 2021, with the volcano spewing a massive plume that was visible even from Tonga's capital. The explosion's force was so formidable that it generated audible sounds from Alaska over 6,000 miles away, and the explosion reached a crescendo of immense power over about four weeks. Experts assigned a rate of at least VEI-5 to the explosion through the Volcanic Exclusivity Index VEI, describing it as akin to a magma hammer. At its peak, the volcano unleashed a sequence of underwater thrusts, displacing an astonishing 10 cubic kilometers of rock, ash, and sediment. The explosion then etched its name in the record books as the largest atmospheric explosion ever recorded with modern instruments. The explosion's shock waves reverberated across the globe, which marked a remarkable feat in volcanic activity. The colossal explosion of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai also triggered devastating tsunamis that rippled across vast distances, wreaking havoc in several nations along the Pacific Rim. Tonga, Fiji, American Samoa, and Vanuatu experienced the brunt of the impact. The tsunamis, however, also lashed out at distant shores, causing significant destruction in New Zealand, Japan, the United States, Chile, Peru, and the Russian Far East. The Tragic Aftermath of the Natural Disaster In Toga, the tsunami waves reached staggering heights of up to 20 meters. The result was a staggering loss of life. With individuals losing their lives, many more were severely injured, and a grim possibility lingered as some people remained missing in the aftermath of the disaster. The force of the waves left communities shattered and struggling to cope with the scale of destruction. Peru felt the impact on a smaller scale. The two-meter-high waves that crashed into the coast claimed the lives of two individuals and marked a tragic reminder of the tsunami's power. Although significant, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano's explosion found its match in history with the catastrophic Krakatoa explosion in 1883. Krakatoa, nestled around the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia, wreaked havoc from May 20 to October 21, 1883. Its eruptive fury spewed an astonishing five cubic miles of rock fragments and immense quantities of ash, blanketing an area spanning 300,000 square miles. The cataclysmic event, nonetheless, claimed the lives of at least 36,000 people and resonated as far as Perth in Western Australia and the island of Rodriguez near Mauritius, both approximately 3,000 kilometers away from Krakatoa. This made its impact echo through history as one of the deadliest volcanic explosions ever recorded. Comparatively, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai explosion, described by NASA as a hundred times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, was a staggering event in its own right. 
and recent scientific findings have also shed light on the extent of its power. Seafloor surveys revealed that the explosions excavated a colossal 2.3 cubic miles of rock. The explosion's reach was more astonishing, which propelled a plume of scorching gas and ash approximately 35.4 miles into the sky, surpassing any observed phenomenon. In addition, the explosion also injected an unprecedented 146 teragrams of vaporized water into the atmosphere, a quantity of which could significantly impact the global climate. The explosion impact was not confined to its immediate vicinity. The resulting tsunami traveled across the oceans, astounding scientists with its far-reaching effects. The ferocity of the explosion was vividly captured by satellite imagery showcasing shockwaves radiating through the clouds surrounding the expanding plume. Deeply immersed in the study of this event, marine geologist Kevin McKay emphasized its enormity. He stated that it was a massive event and that the more we study it, the bigger it becomes. The eruption served as a stark reminder for the nations along the Pacific Ring of Fire, including Tonga, of their vulnerability to nature's whims. What triggered the colossal fury? Scientists launched a comprehensive investigation to gain insight into the mystery behind the immense eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai. The Tonga Eruption Seabed Mapping Project was a joint effort between NIWA and the Nippon Foundation. Researchers accurately looked into the region, mapped the seafloor, captured images, and collected volcanic rock and ash samples. Their extensive study covered roughly 8,500 square miles surrounding the volcano. Their discovery painted a vivid picture of destruction. The key culprit behind the devastation was pyroclastic flow, a deadly avalanche of searing hot ash and volcanic debris that moved with terrifying speed, reaching up to 200 meters per second. These pyroclastic flows are incredibly hot and can burn everything in their path. They were formed when the volcanic material was expelled during an explosion that cascaded down the volcano's sides. While scientists have detailed knowledge about pyroclastic flows on land, the underwater remains somewhat speculative as they have yet to be observed firsthand. The researchers theorized that as the debris plummeted into the sea, the scalding ash likely vaporized the water, thereby creating a gas layer that propelled the material across the ocean floor like a slippery slide and evidence of multiple pyroclastic flows radiating around the caldera's rims was established, cascading over rises and into valleys. The flows severed domestic and international communication lines, impending Tonga's recovery efforts. Through modeling, Emily Lane of Niwa explained how the volcanic material interacted with the underwater landscape. The explosion dug 2,300 feet into the central crater and fragmented three-quarters of the excavated rock within 12 miles of the volcano. The remaining material circulated in the atmosphere as dust intensified the colors of sunrises and sunsets in the following months. Yet, while the explosion was temporarily quiet, Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai remained restless as it released hot water filled with volcanic glass fragments, indicating that it had not returned to inaction. Other alarming findings suggested that Due to the 2022 explosions, the risk of the colossal underwater volcano erupting has suddenly surged by a staggering 360%. The heightened risk is deeply concerning due to the vast impact such explosions can have. Moreover, beyond the immediate devastation, they lead to secondary disasters like tsunamis and climate effects, which make them even more threatening. Thank you for watching. Let's hear your thoughts in the comment section. And while you are still here, kindly click on the subscription button to get more educational and engaging videos like this one. See you soon.